video. I'm gonna talk fast, just so I can get it over with. Oh, my name is Grady Bouchard. Uh, if you guys are reading my bio, I'm a sneakerhead, so I do sneaker reviews on my other channel at Grady Bouchard. You know, this is hopefully gonna be Bouchard Outdoors. So I'm just gonna go over my rods, my tackle. Now do another video introducing me. So first rod is a Ugly Stick GX2 with a Ugly Stick GXL. Yep, GXL30. No, it's a Shakespeare reel. Um, six foot medium. Right now I just have the take this over there. Booyah Pod Crasher. I forget the official colorway in it. Color, and then I just cut off the tail a bit. This one is a Max Tech spinning rod, 6'6 six, six medium. Right now, I just have a Texas rig on here with a Gary Animato Cinco, 6 inch, or five, yeah, six inch, and a like different color with a bullet weight half ounce, and then a Gamagatsu 4 out hook. We'll get into my terminal tackle. I'll just come sit up by you guys so you guys can see them. Fishing season hasn't started for Michigan yet. It's still February. So, set this over here. I'll just come over here. Sit right here. We'll get into the terminal tackle. Actually, I'll take this camera down here. Sorry about that. So, right here, I got the Daniel Sun one out hooks. These one out, yep, these are one outs. It's not gonna focus. There we go. Got Mugatsu four out hooks. I use these for my uh, Texas rigs. Uh, one swim rig. I have another one in my, uh, what's it called? A package of Zoom. Half ounce walking or er, bullet weights. Size six. The regular worm baits, you know, for fishing or anything. These are two out. This is the one out. Both Daniel Suns. This is just the bullet weight where you put the line through it. Sorry about that. And then you move this black piece on top, and then it stays. Um, over here, half ounce walking baits, uh, pencil weights don't notice size, and then drop shot weights. I have three of those. And then I have some rainbow rigs. You pretty much just it's, it's like a miniature spinning rig, not spinner bait. You just put a jig on there. So it's my terminal tackle. It's in a Plano 360 box. We'll get into my uh, water rigs. I have another one, but I lost it. Whoa, that threw. This is a Focus. Blue Fox 3. Use these for walleye fishing. That looks like an orange or a bright pink, but it's actually an orange. See, there it goes. Then here's another one. Well, I don't know which exact one that is. Get into my jigs now. I actually lost one of the skirts to my jigs. I paid the jigs. I paid good money for, so I'm sort of mad about that. No! No, football head too. So I have orange and yellow jig heads, pink, green and chartreuse, um, silver minnow. Stepdad told me to get this. I heard they're really good. I haven't used it yet. Uh, this is a swim bait or swim jig. I lost the skirt to it, so I'm sort of screwed now. See if that focuses. I don't know. This is a football head jig from Big Bike Baits, I believe. And uh, green and blue. And then I have a Big Bite Bait trailer on it. And a dark green, blue, and black speckles. And then I have another football head. Big Bite, this is in a brown and then black. And then I have a red blue with blue speckles and green speckles that's my jig box i'll get into my top water oh there's my other walleye spinner as you see i already have my uh my frog up there so in here i have a jitterbug just normal black a frog popper i haven't used this yet i heard it's pretty good though my stuff that says and then another popper. No, this is a hula popper. Sorry. They're both poppers, though. And just black. And then a black and white tail. Get in the jerk baits. I only have a couple of them. This is a Rotala jerk bait right here. Fire tiger jerk bait. Jerk bait. 
more focus. Oh, this is a storm, live t storm jerk bait. It's a, uh, it reminds me sort of like a really fat minnow with red hooks. And then I just have another storm. Would you not mess with my line? Damn cat. Go. This is another storm. Big fire tiger. Uh, I caught a nice sized or er, nice sized bass with this one. I'm trying to think, maybe six inch, six or seven inch, but it was a nice one. It was it was a nice one. It was first of the summer for me. Stop messing with my freaking line. Jesus Christ. Um, in here I only have two crankbaits because I lost another one. This is the uh, Berkeley. Trying to think of it. It's Berkeley sh right here. Flicker Shad. And this is the Berkeley Flipper Flicker Shad and Sexy Shad. Focus. Red Eye Shad. And there we go. And then this is a another storm. Deep rattle. Seven this goes to seven to five or five to seven feet. This is like a baby bass. What focus? Alright, quit messing with quit messing with that fester. We'll get into my spinner baits. Um, spinner baits, and then I'll have my soft plastics ready. So, I was always told, from where I'm from, the Saginaw River is really dirty. So, black, and then, like, silver. With a good spinner bait. So, this is just a black spinner bait with red, or er, black tail. And then, silvers. Silver spinners is by Booyah. It won't focus, but it says Booyah. This one is another one by Booyah. This is just a sexy shad one. I don't really usually run trailers with them. I don't want to pause the videos. But this is like a sexy shad one. There we go, so you can see it better. And then, this is like maybe one of my first ever spinner baits when I started fishing. This is in a chartreuse. The tail is messed up on it right now, so let's see if I can fix that. Here we go. Maybe it helped a little bit. This is a chartreuse, green, and then yellow. A little bit of white spinnerbait. I don't know what brand it's by, but it's one of my first spinnerbaits I got. So we'll get into my uh, soft plastics. These are them. I actually got this one for my birthday. And this is this bass tubes, uh, four inch bass tubes, three and one fourth finesse tubes, and then two and one three fourth. Um, purple and gold bass tubes. High school colors. Uh, this is a silver with black or er, black red, sort of like my middle school colors. Green. Uh, I've heard green, like just in plain green with dark green in it. It's really good for smallmouth. This is a green with like a what silver tail. Um, this is another like forest green with brown speckles, and then maybe like I haven't used any of these yet. And this is like a brown with green speckles. So we'll get into the actual soft plastics. Actually, we'll get into the stuff I haven't used. I'll do some ice fishing lures, and then this is something I plan on using. This is a double take buzz bait in one fourth ounce. Um, it's sort of like my other spinner bait that I showed you. That one right there. I'll take the green chartreuse. Uh, red hook. Let's see who is that? I can't read cursive, so I don't know. But you know, got that. Um, got these. This is a Wonder Bread, I believe. Wonder Bread. Yep, Wonder Bread ice fishing jig, the Dew Jigger. Uh, size three, I believe. Yeah, size three. And then this one is the Clown, size three. So we'll get into uh, my uh, walleye grub first. This is just a pack of Yum Velocities. In the chart silver, three inches. I have another one of those in chocolate black, I believe this is. Three inch. Um, oh, this is just a water rig that I forgot about. I got it for like 99 cents or 67 or whatever. Um, we get into the big bite baits. These are all three inches. This is the one I have for a trailer, which is red. And then the speckles. These are also like walleye grub. This doesn't say that. Um, this is like 
the dark green with the blue and black speckles, and then this is a black with the chartreuse tail. Um, I'll get over this. It, this is Gary Automano 5 inch sinker, and um, water bone black, red, and then black. This is the power bait Berkeley term or Berkeley worm with like black and blue head with a pink tail. This is the 7 inch blue fleck fire tail, I guess. 13 of them. And then this is my uh, I have my swimming or my uh, swim jig on this, I believe. Yep, it's on this. This is my zoom fluke, super salty fluke, and the smoke and shad. Uh, there's guys who always say I have to keep one rigged up, so I started following that. Um, most flukes have the hole in the middle so you can get perfect. I got these from like Myers or somewhere. Bass love them. I haven't officially used these yet, but I will this summer. So I just want to say thanks for watching. Um, it means a lot to me if you guys watch this and actually subscribe. So, uh, please do that. More fishing videos to come. Bouchard Outdoors. Out.